Harry Potter has so many themes, but one of the most interesting is the Rule of Seven. JK Rowling dutifully had the number seven play a huge significance in Harry's life. I thought it would be fun to just take a minute and dive into every example we see of this in the series. This is a shorter video than normal, but hopefully you guys like it, because I've been wanting to make this for a while. So let's start with the fact that number 7 was deemed the most powerfully magic number in the 13th century, when Bridget Wenlock, an expert in arithmancy, came up with a fascinating new theorem, which exposed the magical properties of this number. From day one, Rowling knew that she was not just going to have one book, it wasn't going to be a trilogy. She knew from the start that there were going to be seven books in the series, proving how much thought she put into the Harry Potter series before it was even written. The first time the number seven really pops up in the series was sort of anticlimactic, but it was when Harry was buying his wand at Ollivander's, and it cost seven galleons. Harry is told by Hagrid that there are seven years at Hogwarts, though fun fact, Harry and Ron would only end up doing six years of school as they did not go back after the Battle of Hogwarts the way Hermione did, but most witches and wizards did seven years. We later find out in the Philosopher's Stone from Ron on the Train that there are seven Weasley children, Bill the oldest, Charlie, Percy, the twins Fred and George, Ron, and the youngest and only girl Ginny. When Harry arrived at Hogwarts, we discovered that there were seven floors of the castle, making the school so grand and intriguing. There are seven core classes at Hogwarts, Astronomy, Charms, Defense Against the Dark Arts, Herbology, History of Magic, Potions, and Transfiguration. There are of course more subjects, but those are just the core subjects. In the Wizarding World, seven is the age by which most experts agree that magic will show itself if it is present. And if you're a child born of wizarding parents and magic does not present itself by the age of seven, this is the age that you could be diagnosed as a squib. When Harry was getting the rules of Quidditch explained to him, we found out that there are seven players on a Quidditch team, three chasers, two beaters, a seeker, and a keeper. When Harry, Ron, and Hermione went down to protect the Philosopher's Stone, there were seven obstacles, each designed by one of the staff. Hagrid had Fluffy, the three-headed dog, Sprout planted the Devil's Snare, Flitwick created the Flying Keys, McGonagall set up the Giant Wizard's Chessboard, Quirrell set up the Mountain Troll, Snape set up the Potions Riddle, and Dumbledore had the final protection using the Mirror of Erised. In the film, it was just five obstacles, as they cut the Troll and the Potions Riddle, but in the book, it was seven. Before Gryffindor won the House Cup in Harry's first year, the number seven popped up again when it was announced that they would overtake Slytherin for the first time in seven years. Seven muggles saw Harry and Ron flying the Fort Angula. You were seen by no less than seven muggles. When Lockhart was the Defense Against the Dark Arts professor, he had his students get seven of his books. Clearly, he wanted to boost his sales. There are seven ingredients for Polyjuice Potion, a potion that is used many times in multiple books during the series. Seven entities were attacked by the Basilisk during Harry's second year. Mrs. Norris, Colin Creevy, Justin Finch Fletchley, Nearly Headless Nick, Hermione, Penelope Clearwater who was Percy's girlfriend, and Harry while he was down in the chamber. Wolfsbane Potion, the potion that helps werewolves stay in the right mind during a full moon, must be drunk every seven days before the full moon comes, and this is what Snape made Lupin during Lupin's time at Hogwarts. When we were introduced to the Marauder's Map, it had seven hidden passageways. There are seven secret passageways out of the castle. However, Filch knew about four, so you couldn't use those, and one was caved in and completely blocked, but there were only a select few who knew about all seven passageways. Before Gryffindor won the Quidditch Cup in Harry's third year, Gryffindor had not won in seven years, and Harry catching the snitch broke this losing streak, and finally gave Captain Oliver Wood a win, in unsurprisingly, his seventh year at Hogwarts. We found out from Hermione that there had only been seven registered Animagi, which were wizards who could change from human to animal at will. There were three unregistered Animagi that no one knew about, but nevertheless, the Ministry only knew about seven of them. Seven people went into the Shrieking Shack the night the truth came out about Wormtail and Padfoot, Harry, Ron, Hermione, Lupin, Sirius, Snape, and Pettigrew. In the Goblet of Fire, Moody's trunk had seven keyholes, and this was of course where Moody was locked up in his own trunk by Barty Crouch Jr. <laughs> wouldn't even bother telling you what's in there. You wouldn't believe it if I did. When Fred and George started selling their products, they charged seven sickles for their canary creams, which were sweets that made you turn into a large canary bird. Now that Dobby was a free elf, he could wear clothes, and his favorite clothes were socks, and he excitedly told Harry that he had seven of them. Not seven pairs, but just seven unmatching socks. 
During a Care of Magical Creatures lesson, we found out that 7 is the age that unicorns are fully grown and turned from silver to pure white. In the first chapter of the Order of the Phoenix, Harry was listening to the news and it happened to be the 7 o'clock news. Then in that same chapter, the woman that lived in number 7 Privet Drive looked at Harry and the Dursley suspiciously, and in the book, she was literally referred to as Mrs. Number 7. At Grimold Place, Creature told everybody that the tapestry they were trying to throw out had been in the Black family for 7 centuries, and he was fighting very hard to save it. When we were introduced to the Ministry of Magic, Level 7 was brought up, and we found out that it housed the Department of Magical Games and Sports. During Harry's trial for using magic outside of school, the clause that ended up clearing him was Decree Number 7, which stated that magic could be used before muggles in exceptional circumstances, such as being in danger. The Room of Requirement, the place where Dumbledore's army met, and later where Draco would use the Vanishing Cabinet, and before that, where Voldemort hid one of his Horcruxes, was of course on the 7th floor. Ron and Harry both passed 7 OWLs the exams that 5th years take to decide their future classes and ultimately their careers. They each took 9 exams, both failing 2 subjects and passing 7. One of the biggest uses of the number 7 was when we finally heard the prophecy. It states that whomever it's about, they were born as the 7th month dies. This could apply to both Harry and Neville Longbottom, both of whom were born at the end of July. When Bellatrix was interrogating Snape in Spinner's End, Snape told her that he would answer any questions that she had, and she asked seven questions, all of which Snape gave sufficient answers to. While on the train for Harry's sixth year, we find out that Zabini's mother had married seven times, and each of those marriages ended with her husband dying mysteriously, leaving her mounds of gold. The Half-Blood Prince's potion book told Harry to change the directions for a potion, and while the potion told him to stir counterclockwise until the potion turned clear as water, the prince told him to add a clockwise stir after every seventh counterclockwise stir, and doing this made the potion perfect. Dumbledore showed Harry seven memories of Voldemort's past. The first trip to the Gaunt House, Voldemort's mother going to Borgen and Burks, Dumbledore going to the Orphanage, an older Tom Riddle going to the Gaunt House and seeing Morphin, Tom asking Slughorn about Horcruxes, Tom visiting Hepzibah Smith, and Voldemort meeting with Dumbledore to get a job at Hogwarts. Another one of the big uses of the number 7 in the series is of course Voldemort's 7 Horcruxes. When talking to Slughorn, he asked saying that because 7 was the most powerfully magical number, wouldn't it make you stronger to have 7 Horcruxes instead of just 1? Instance 7. seven. His Horcruxes were the Diary, the Ring, the Cup, the Locket, the Diadem, Nagini, and Harry. It's clear that Rowling had her heart set on having 7 Horcruxes from the start to go along with the theme that she had created early on, but unfortunately, this was kind of ruined when she released information after the series ended that when Voldemort shared a body with Quirrell, it made Quirrell an 8th Horcrux. But there is one way around this. Voldemort did not know that Harry was a Horcrux because he did not mean to make it. And even after he destroyed the Horcrux inside of Harry, he never knew about it. So to Voldemort, he always thought that he had made 7 Horcruxes, but in reality it was really 8. In the Deathly Hallows when they were taking Harry from Privet Drive, they devised a plan to have 7 different Harrys, as Fred, George, Ron, Hermione, Mundungus, and Fleur all took Polyjuice Potion to become Harry. The Battle in the Sky would later be known as the Battle of Seven Potters, and even this chapter has the number 7 in it, as it's called the Seven Potters. When doing surveillance before breaking into the Ministry of Magic, Harry watched the entrance for 7 hours the day before they went through with their plan. There are 7 conflicts in the Deathly Hallows novel, the Battle of Seven Potters, Infiltrating the Ministry, the Attack at Godric's Hollow, the Ambush at the Lovegood's House, the Battle at Malfoy Manor, Breaking into Gringotts, and the Battle of Hogwarts. Seven people escaped from Malfoy Manor, Harry, Ron, Hermione, Luna, Griphook, Ollivander, and Dean Thomas, though Dean Thomas wasn't in the movie. There are seven known spell types, Transfiguration, Charm, Jinx, Hex, Curse, Counterspell, and Healing Spell. Harry caught the Golden Snitch seven times during his time as Seeker on the Gryffindor Quidditch team, twice in his first year, once in his second year, twice in his third year, once in his fifth year, and once in his sixth year. During their many years at Hogwarts, Harry's parents Lily and James had many back and forths, most of them not the best chats, but their seventh year dates when the two got together and became an item. And finally, there were seven Defense Against the Dark Arts professors hired during the series. It's clear that Rowling scattered this theme throughout the books, 
and it's just one example that shows how much thought you put into this amazing Harry Potter series. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You can follow me on social media to see more of my personal life and see more of this little dude. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook for Movie Flame updates. And I want to give a huge shout out to all my patrons listed below. If you want to be featured in the next video, plus get a bunch of other rewards, become a patron today. Again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you press that like button and subscribe. And look out for more great videos on the way.